is up, Trainters? Ludo here with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go, and today we are continuing the Celebi quest. So we left off on step two of the Celebi quest uh, that was pretty quickly, easily uh, uh, finished. So you had to catch uh, Pokemon three days in a row. That was easy peasy, taken care of. Then you had to evolve. We took care of that. A uh, evolved grass type. And then you had to make three new friends. And I had said that I had wanted to try and make some kind of firefighter friend. And look what I done did. <laughs> So I reached out onto the interwebs and basically just flat out said what my intention was and that I was literally looking for a firefighter working the fires that plays Pokemon Go. And I was messaged by one. So I, uh, one, am super thankful. I will keep their names under wrap and whatnot, but you know, here's their Pokemon name. That's of no worry. Everybody's Pokemon name is out there. I don't understand why people try and cover that up still. That's a whole other story. Anyways, uh, so I have a lot of island friends that watch, so I'm going to try and not butcher this. Nai, nai, kai, nai kai kao kapono. I, I, I think that's how it's pronounced. He is a native Hawaiian who resides in Eugene, and uh, right now he's working with the Saniam Fire Department, uh, U.S. Fire Department people, and he's working at the Cougar Creek Complex, uh, which is very local to here. I did ask, and he did deliver. Uh, I will show it at the end of the episode, but uh, he sent me some amazing footage of uh, one of the fires that he was currently working on that evening uh, directing traffic off of the road because the fire was getting too large. But we are slowly building that friendship, so uh, keeping uh, with my promise of just, you know, uh, trying to send him gifts as much as I can. I have him named number, number two, so that way he's right at the top, so it's a continual, like, trying to remember to send him a gift because I don't know how often he gets to play. So yes, we got that taken care of and we completed that task and we moved on to task number three, which was easy peasy as well. Reached level 25, which most of us already completed instantly. Using a sunstone to evolve a uh, gloom or a sunkern and then hatching nine eggs. So I am on my last egg. And once we complete that, you get an Eevee encounter, which uh, for the next quest, you have to walk an Eevee for 10k, so I'm already walking an Eevee, because you can do this. And my Eevee is at 2.4 of 5km. My egg is at 4.5 of 5, so that will hatch before I get my candy. What matters most with the Eevee walking task is more that you earn the the two candies. You don't have to, it doesn't record a full 10 km walked for that task. You have to walk a full 10 km for your Eevee, but you more have to earn two candies to complete that task. So in total for that task, when it uh, goes, I should only have to walk uh, 3km to get the first candy and then uh, five, so in a total just eight. I shaved off 2km. I could have been more strategic and shaved off more, but I got stuck in a ripple of time. I also need to get uh, my hair cut, so let's uh, make our way to uh, get my hair cut, and then we'll head downtown to uh, continue the Celebi quest. Okay, so we got the haircut and I stepped right outside. Oh, hi camera. Stepped outside, trying to find my light. Stepped outside, awkward positioning, uh, pulled out of the parking lot, and right as I pulled out of the parking lot, a Makuhita showed up and it was a shiny! You know every time I get a shiny, I get crazy! So, Golden Raz and an Ultra Ball. Not trying to lose this at all. <laughs> that sweet. Okay. Yay. Strong too. Nice. How cool. All right. So let's uh, head downtown, uh, complete the task, and start collecting gifts to send for the next one. See you downtown. 
Okay, so we are downtown officially now. Uh, apologize in advance for the wind. It's pretty windy downtown today, so. But, one, we're gonna turn on a lucky egg. Because we have a couple tasks to take care of. So, right there we got that one reward for uh, uh, hatching our final egg. And then we will claim our research reward here. And we must be in AR mode for this encounter, that's silly. Even though it doesn't even go to AMR. Okay, so 396 EV here. We are already walking our uh, other EV, which was a uh, 96%, so that'll be the one that we do for the task. Got our EV. All right, oh wow, is that an EV you caught? Perfect timing. Did you know that this Pokemon's unstable genetic makeup enables it to take on one of several different evolutions? I'll bet if you spend some time with it during the day, you'll be able to evolve your Eevee into an Espeon, a psychic type Pokemon, just like the mythical Pokemon I'm researching. Can you walk 10km with your Eevee as your buddy to earn candy, evolve Eevee into Espeon during the day, and send 20 gifts to your friends? I sure can do that, Professor. So, we're gonna hope to get our first gift from one of my favorite stops to get gifts from. Yay! So, starting off the gift collecting with two gifts. So, let us uh, now evolve some Natus and Sun Kerns because I have two of those Pineco tasks and we can check if they are shiny. So, we're gonna evolve these and then, yeah, so, uh, and just like that, the tasks are done, so two shiny pineco checks. We're gonna get the shiny Makuhita. Uh, okay. Okay, not a shiny on this one. That's the same one. I have to claim my research box in order to claim this other damn reward. I don't want to do that until the first when I get Entei. <sighs> well, I was already behind on Raikou, so whatever. We will get another Raikou. I mean, I'm not going to do the encounter, so maybe, maybe saving the encounter works? I doubt it. Anyways, this other reward. Shiny Pineco? Not a Shiny Pineco. I think I just wasted an Entei on a non-Shiny Pineco. Anyways, uh, let's get to collecting and sending some gifts. Evie into Espeon during the day. 
So, in the meantime, I switched out my Eevee already for another one, so that way any walking I get in between today and, or today, right now, and tomorrow, it, it, it'll be recorded. So we will just pick that back up tomorrow, uh, where we are going to be in Seattle. So PAX West Seattle is having unknown spawns. So we're gonna make a trip up Seattle and finally get our first unknown. But yay for unknowns, finally, uh, they don't spawn here. And if they do, it's in the random middle of the day in a random intersection in the middle of Portland. Anyways, that's that if you ended up getting a gift from me from this little uh, uh, extravaganza, so uh, please post it on Twitter and tag me. I would love to see what you got. And let me know if you got an egg, because then it's like cool because it's like part of my Celebi quest and you got an egg from that. Maybe it'll be a shiny baby. But that is it for now. We will pick it up tomorrow with step four and five, I believe, of the Celebi quest. So, See you in Seattle tomorrow. If you enjoyed this episode, please scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye.